Hi everyone, Crafty Decoria here, and today I will be sharing with you some very easy, quick, inexpensive, and fun DIYs to bring that pop of color into your home for spring. Okay, so to begin, I will be covering a Dollar Tree napkin holder and butter dish using the Dollar Tree glitter eggs. Now you get 12 in a pack with this package and they are the ones that have the pretty ribbon um, inserted in the end of the styrofoam eggs. I also will be using a ceramic painting set. Now I will not be using the paint included with this. I'm actually just going to leave the egg as it is. Now what I will be doing with the eggs is I'm going to be taking out the ribbon that comes attached to the egg and you just very easily pull it out and then with the wide end of the egg facing down I take my knife place it in the center and then I'm just going to cut that egg in half okay so I will do this to the rest of the eggs once that's done I'm going to be hot gluing them onto the napkin holder and the butter dish However, with the butter dish, I'm going to first glue my egg to the center of the butter dish and once that's glued on there, then I will continue gluing the glitter eggs all around until the top of the butter dish is completely covered. Now with this butter dish, because I am gluing the foam eggs to the top of it, I won't be able to wash this. So instead of using a stick of butter with this particular butter dish, I will be using the single serving butter containers, the little mini ones, and then placing them inside. It'll still serve the purpose of a butter dish, but it'll just keep it a lot cleaner so I don't have to worry about any butter getting on the plastic and then having to clean that up. So I'm going to go ahead, cut my eggs, glue on my ceramic egg, and then start gluing the rest of the eggs until they are completely covered. Alright guys, so here's the napkin holder and the butter dish covered in the glitter eggs and I absolutely love how they have turned out. Now I did use two packages of the eggs which again had 12 in each package which then I cut them in half so that gave me 48 pieces. I also love that I added the ceramic egg to the center of the butter dish because it makes lifting the top so nice and easy and I just think it looks super cute. Now with the other DIYs that I will be showing you, I have included some nautical rope in those DIYs. And I think I'm going to add a couple rows to the bottoms of these pieces so that everything ties in nicely together. So I will add a couple rows to the bottom of the butter dish as well as one row to the bottom of the napkin holder. So once I glue that rope on, we will move on to the next DIY. At the end of the video, I will group all of these DIYs together so that you can see how they look displayed all together. So let me glue that rope on and then we'll move on to the next DIY. 
So this next DIY is probably the simplest and quickest DIY I will ever do. And so here I have the Dollar Tree bunny ear headband. All I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a napkin ring holder. And it's very simple. You just need your hot glue. If you wanted to add some E6000 glue to make sure that this really stays in place, you can go ahead. But I think that the hot glue will work really good, especially if you're using Gorilla Glue. Then I just take the right side of the headband and I bring it up as much as I can. And then I'm going to take my hot glue and glue that in place. Once I have that glued down, I'm going to take this other end, add some more glue here, and then just glue that in place. Now if you have a couple of clamps, it would be a good idea to clamp this down so that it can dry nicely. And once this has dried, that's it. You have your very inexpensive, quick Dollar Tree bunny ear napkin ring holder. So I'm going to go ahead, glue this in place, and show you what it looks like with the napkin placed inside. Alright, so now I'm just going to take my clamps off. If you saw, I actually added a little bit of glue in the center as well just to give it a little bit more um, strength in holding the headband in place. And there you have it. How cute is that? Now you just take your napkin and then just slide it through. And I actually had some really nice white napkins, but I have them packed away so I couldn't use it. But I think they would look really cute with a white napkin because it would look more like a bunny. But how cute is that? So here I have another one with the cutlery in the center. I think that is just too cute. For something so inexpensive and something so easy it adds a lot of pop of color and then if you don't want the color side showing you could just flip it around and then have the white showing and it would look just as cute okay so with this next DIY it can either be used for decor or for a candy dish placing chocolates or cookies on the inside now if I am going to be using this for food, what I normally like to do is just place a plastic bag on the inside and then place my food inside of that because I will be decorating the outside of these trifle containers and so it's not something that I'm going to be able to wash so when it is food placed in here I like to keep it as clean as possible. I can always clean it up with a damp cloth if I have to, but I think just with placing the food items in a bag, it just keeps it a lot cleaner. So for this, I'm using two trifle containers. One, I will be displaying it as a candy dish, and then the other one, I'm going to glue it on top of the Dollar Tree candle holder, and I will be displaying this or showing this to you as a decor piece. So this one here, I will be wrapping the trifle container with the nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. And this particular one, I could keep out all year long and just change the decor on the inside for the seasons. This particular trifle container, I'm going to be gluing on the foam eggs that I used for my napkin holder and butter dish. I'm going to, again, be cutting them in half and then gluing them to the outside. Now the bottom of this trifle container, I will use the same nautical rope to finish off the bottom. This way, this particular one, I will only be using for the spring, but it'll match the other items that I made in the first DIY, and it still will look really cute, being that I have the jute twine on the bottom, it'll look really nice next to this taller one. 
Now, if I do come across another trifle container, I will pick it up and then wrap it as well, only with the nautical rope, because I just love when I display something like this, where you have one higher and one lower. So the one that I'm using for the decor, I did pick up these egg-shaped chalk. Um, you get six pieces in this package, and I think they're really cute to use for decor. So I'm just going to be laying these on top of either some moss or some crinkle paper, whatever I have on hand. And um, I think it's going to make a really cute decor piece. So now I'm just going to wrap my trifle containers and then glue this particular one onto the candle holder. And once I have completed both of them, I'll show you what they look. Okay guys, so here they are and I absolutely love both of these. So here is the shorter one with the eggs and the nautical rope at the bottom. Now I didn't quite use two packages for this. I used about one and a half. Again because I did overlap them just to kind of fill in that plastic but I don't actually mind some of the plastic coming through because I think this would even be a great idea if you had to place some lights on the inside then it would peek through in between the eggs. And then here is the taller one and I absolutely love this piece right here. I definitely am going to be making some more of these and I have a feeling that by the end of the video when you see this at the end it will have something stenciled on it because to me this really really looks like a farmhouse piece and I think it turned out just beautiful so as I said at the end of the video I will display all the DIYs together so that when you do see this again there will be some things on the inside so that you can see how it looks displayed as decor and then as a candy dish. I absolutely love these two. So now let's move on to the last DIY. Okay, so for this last DIY, I wanted to create a centerpiece. Now where I am putting this, it is a smaller space, so I didn't want to make it too big. For the base of this, I will be using the Dollar Tree organizers, uh, drawer organizers. Now this one here is great, but I did want a little bit more length. So I ended up picking up this two pack of drawer organizers. So two for $1.25 here in Canada. And I will be gluing one on each side of the larger one. 
Then I will be using the nautical rope that I've been using in the other DIYs and also these two chalkboard signs which are so pretty. They just go so nice for spring with these little birds and the colors fit nicely with the eggs so I think it'll tie everything in nicely together and then there is the chalkboard on the center and these I got for 50 cents each so I will be using two of them. So first I'm gonna go ahead and glue on my sides then start wrapping the base with the nautical rope and then placing or gluing my signs together and then gluing them onto the base. Alright everyone, so here is my finish centerpiece undecorated. You will see that at the end of the video. So I ended up using a little over three of the nautical ropes, but I am so so pleased with how this turned out. I showed you as I was gluing it together um, where the smaller container or organizer and the larger ones met I did add some nautical rope at the top and then at the bottom just because um, I wanted to make sure that they were bonded really well and that ad added some extra support and then as I was gluing it I actually went right from the lip to the side of the organizer so it did leave a bit of a gap and so at the end I went over with another row of the nautical rope to cover that up and then I added just a couple trim pieces here at the bottom of the chalkboard sign on both sides and then as well here at the top and I just love how this has turned out so now I'm gonna go ahead and place all my DIYs together and uh, let you see how they look displayed in my trailer All right, everyone, so here I have come into my trailer and I decided to display everything in here. My trailer is pretty much black and white with pops of red, but I wanted to add some pastel colors in here to get it more spring ready. So everything I think turned out so cute. Everything works so nicely together. So here you can see the napkin ring holders I've placed on the place setting and they are just adorable. Now my initial plan was to actually 
glue some burlap in there because I wanted to make these more of a farmhouse style and I will end up doing that. I did paint one of the bunny ears and I have it over here. I had some chalk paint on hand and decided to try that out and they did come out really nicely however I'm going to have to seal that with something or I'm sure the paint is going to crack. Uh, it may crack with the sealer as well, but I thought I'd give that a try. But if it doesn't work out, then once I get some burlap, I will be lining those. And I think they're going to look very, very cute. Now, since I'm here, here is the centerpiece that I made. I absolutely love it. I love how it looks like one piece. And then I have my divider so that if I do want to add some greenery in the center, then my salt and pepper shaker are placed on each side and it won't get in the way of the arrangement. But I just kept it pretty simple, adding just a couple of the Dollar Tree vases that I love with some succulents on the inside. And then I just hung a couple of the foam eggs and I absolutely love it. Here to the right, is the chocolate or candy dish and I'm so glad I ended up adding that jute twine to the bottom because it really finishes the piece up so so nice back to the table here I placed my centerpiece here in the in the middle which I made with the other trifle container and I just absolutely love how it looks it is the perfect size for this table. It's not too high. It's narrow in the center, so you can still fit a lot of things around it. And I love the chalk eggs in the center. Now, I did want to add some moss or some crinkle paper, but I completely ran out. I thought I had some more, and I didn't. So I just have a little bit of raffia sticking out underneath there. And I also did add an LED light set, but you it is on but you can't see it because it's just too bright in here even though I have the curtain closed but nevertheless it is the perfect piece for this table and I think you can use this in so many ways I do have a really nice chunky LED candle and I'm going to be placing that in the center and then either adding some succulents or some greenery moss around it and I think it'll be perfect for summer then here I have my butter dish. Again, if I'm going to be using it for butter, I will not be using a stick of butter. I definitely will be using this single serving um, container, little plastic containers, just to keep it cleaner because as I said, this is not something that I can wash. Um, I can always wipe it with a damp cloth, but for cleanliness and, you know, for, um, for any type of food, I wouldn't want it touching the inside if I can't wash it. Um, this would also be a great idea if you have some little cookies. You could always purchase some plastic containers or even the tin foil containers at the Dollar Tree. If you find one that can fit this size, it would be really cute to add some cookies in here. It's great um, since there is a cover, it will keep them fresher. So I think that's a really cute idea as well. And then the last thing was my napkin holder. Just the perfect finishing touch to this table and another piece to tie everything together. Then over here on the couch, this wasn't included in the DIY, but I just wanted to show you the bunny pillows. These were the chair covers that you place on the back of your chair from the Dollar Tree and I just used them as pillow covers and I think that they look so cute. So that'll do it for these DIYs. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I did them all together because I just didn't have enough time to record them separately and because they were simpler DIYs I just thought I could squeeze it all into one video and I hope it's not super long but I just wanted to get this video out Maybe these are some items that you have purchased and you just didn't get around to using. If this is something you like, perhaps you can make these for yourself. Or if it is something that you like and now 
Um, you're not going to be able to get them at the Dollar Tree, especially the foam eggs. It is a seasonal item. The chalk eggs, they still may have them there. Um, I do have one Dollar Tree that has an area in the store where uh, the previous um, holiday, they do have things left over that you can still pick up. Like when I went the last time, they had Valentine's Day um, items still. Um, but I know not every Dollar Tree has that. So again, if it's something that you did like and you just can't get them, perhaps this is something that you can think of for next year. Nevertheless, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and as always guys, you take care of yourselves and I really hope to catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.